Find the mean, median, and mode of the following list of fish lengths in inches. We have 12, 8, 7, 15, and 7 inches. The mean. We'll start with the mean. The mean of a list of numbers, the mean x bar. That's the sample mean. So when you see this x bar, that's how it's pronounced, that's the sample mean. If you see mu, pronounced, pronounced mu, but it's looks like a, to us it looks like a U with a line on it. It's a Greek letter, Greek letter mu. That's the population mean. However, the formula for finding the mean, whether you have all of the numbers in the population or just the, or just the sample, the formula is the same. So let's go back to that. X bar, X bar is add up all of the numbers and divide by the number of numbers. So we have 12 plus 8 plus 7 plus 15 plus 7 all over 5. So the mean, x bar, is 9.8. We need a label on that, 9.8 inches. It's going to be the same label as whatever your data is. If we then want to talk about the median, the median is denoted with the symbol x tilde. So not a straight bar, but a, a wavy bar over the x. And the median is the middle number when the numbers are listed in numerical order. So middle position, or the number in the middle position. So I'll write that out, middle position number. So if we were to write this, these in order, we have 7, 7, 8, 12, and 15. The number in the middle has the same number, number of numbers to the left and the same number of numbers to the right is 8. By the way, if you have an even number of numbers, let's say we, we tacked on a number at the end, or let's just write um, 4, 8, 8, we don't want 8, 8, 9, and 10. The new example, hypothetical, we don't have a middle number there, so the median would just be right in the, the middle of those two. The median would be 8.5, the average of those middle two numbers. But anyway, back to our example, our median then is x tilde is 8, again, same label, 8 inches. Lastly, the mode. When, we're, when we want to find the mode of the numbers, of the list of numbers, that is simply the number that shows up the greatest number of times. So it's, it's 7. 7 shows up the greatest number of times, so the mode is 7. And it's 7 inches. These are all measures of center. Um, you can see 8 is the, the middle number in in the list of numerical numbers, uh, 9.8 is the, the mean, or we, we talk about it as the average most commonly, and 7 is the mode. Some, sometimes, like with this example, they don't all line up, and oftentimes they won't, but when we get on to normal distributions, uh, the mean and the median do line up. Now let's talk about doing all of this on Excel. And by the way, this version of Excel that I'm using is uh, Office XP, so quite a bit older than the, late, than the uh, latest versions. That's to make it so that everyone can play along, not everyone has the newest version. If you have the newer version, some of the things I show you are just in, may be in slightly different spots. Now, the mean. The, because the word average is so commonly used to, to intend the word arithmetic mean, uh, it's even used in Excel. So I could type in equals and then type in average and then open up parentheses and then click all of these numbers, choose all of these numbers and then close parentheses. Boom, we've got it. 9.8 inches. Median, I could find the same way I could type in equals median, but just in case you forget that, let's go up to the function button. Insert function. What should we use? Uh, we're going to use statistical and I'm going to scroll all the way down to median, median, and it says median of 
bring this over here. It says median of what numbers? Well, we want the median of these numbers. Okay, and we say okay. It gives us eight. Wonderful. Mode, we don't really need Excel for this one, but um, if it's a very big list of numbers, then maybe we would want to use the mode of those. So let's let's do that. Mode, there it is, mode. And of what numbers? We, we're going to choose these. It tells us seven. Okay, we've got it. All right, so there was finding the mean, median, and mode of a list of numbers by hand and with Excel.